Moments across the country marking this Memorial Day as we remember here the true meaning of this day. With his hand to his heart, President Obama paying tribute to the men and women who have served and who've been lost. Across this country today, we remembered a widow next to her husband's grave in Georgia paying tribute. This man remembering a loved one at Arlington National Cemetery, where soldiers were carefully planting flags on too many graves to count. It will be our task, every single one of us, to honor the strength and the resolve and the love these brave Americans felt for each other and for our country. In Boston, an image that gets us every year, the flags on Boston Common, one flag for every man and woman from Massachusetts, lost since the Civil War. The children, this boy in Wisconsin, hearing through those star-shaped glasses, holding the American flag, so many young faces across America remembering the generations before them. Of course, the homecomings that made this weekend special. One of our favorites this year, this little girl singing at school. Just watch her face, stunned at who shows up. Suddenly, it was too much for her to simply stand there. She runs right into the arms of her father. And on this Memorial Day, a love story we heard about today, with a brand new chapter just now being written. Laura Mae Davis right here, holding onto a photo of herself from the 1940s, her boyfriend serving in World War II. He never came home. But nearly 70 years later, walking through a museum in New Orleans, she spots something, a diary kept by her boyfriend. And in it, words she had never read, but she sees her name. The Marine writing in his diary, you'll find my life history of my days in the U.S. Marine Corps, speaking of love of family, and writing, most of all, my love for Laura May, for whom my heart is completely filled. That is simply extraordinary, a love story with a new chapter.